this is just an update to the previous video that we did that shows how to construct a biodigester and have it connected to a drain flow system remember we're working at this paradise estate in katamanso here in accra and then we did biodigesters for a series of their apartments their real estate buildings and then they asked us that they should be connected to a drain flow system i mean they just wanted a simple on-site biodegradable waste biodigester and have it connected to a drain flow system knowing that it's a family house and they are going to have two biodigesters connected to all the toilets in the building so it was just a simple job that we did i've been back there to continue with the work i mean they come in a series because they, they are continuing with the building process and other buildings are coming up whenever they are ready they call us and then we come and do the installation and i was just there and i was marveled i was impressed with what i've seen in the compound and i thought that let me just update my video and show you how the biodigesters are looking like and how the pavement and everything has been done some are hidden some are flush with the ground like how they wanted them others they wanted them buried because of the gradient that they were getting from the place and i thought that let me just do this video and just update you on it just to go ahead and also let you know that biodigesters are working I've seen people have come to take some of the properties and they're actually living in them and they are using their biodigesters that have been connected to a drain flow system. So it's something that you can also consider for your dream house. The, the reason why I believe in this job was because the number of toilet seats were less. I think in all it's about four and each toilet is taking two toilet seats. The visitor and the master bedroom are taking one and then the other two bedrooms are also taking one. That's the other rooms in the house so basically there's going to be less pressure looking at the users of the facility it makes a lot of sense just to do the drain flow system i'm going to show you how the biodigesters were constructed back then and then you can just go ahead and see how we went about it as you can see with these biodigesters some of them were able to flash with the ground and others have been hidden under the pavement i'm sure all basically depends on the level that they were picking and the gradient that they were taking outside we are here to do some other ones to continue with the project and i thought that let me do this video and show you an update version of how the biodigester that we constructed for this estate and this apartment and how we connected them to a drain flow system we are doing small size family biodigesters we are doing two for a three bedroom house one guest toilet or the visitor's toilet and each room has got its own toilet and clothes and bathrooms in them and we are dividing the biodigesters and then we are doing a so called pit as well as a drain flow system all you want for the biodigester and the understanding for this type of biodigester is that the usage rate the average users and the technicalities involved in the number of people who are going to stay in the house all make sense so it means that there's not going to be a lot of water in the ground and then the ground is equally not that bad so it's going to work well for the users of the facility the other key part is that the digesters were supposed to go down enough which means that you might need a drain flow system for some of the water to just be on the leche pipe halfway leading to the so-called pit and then you do the perforation at the base of the leche pipe and then you put chippings on the ground and then you equally put a vent cap at the end of the distance of the of the leche pipe just to have that added advantage or added security of debris not entering the leche pipe all to your advantage and then you are going to put the black polythene bag on top of the leche pipe all the way and then on the soco pit as well so that you are going to prevent any issue from coming up and disturbing the biodigester wastewater as and when it comes the measurement we are doing the standard size family biodigester which is five by two and the depth is two feet and they just wanted it hidden with about 50 mm that's the top slab showing and then we are only going to make sure that the top slab is what is going to show all the pipes including the inlet and the outlets are going to be buried so in this case after the construction which includes the doing the biodigester using the prefabricated slabs and then going ahead and doing the porous doing the screening and laying the biodigester bed the next thing was just to dig the trench which we will put the leche pipe in it but the key part here is that just by doing a soak away only 
you are going to perforate the base of the leche pipe and then lay some chippings on the ground there use the rubber to cover the leche pipe in this case we are using the four inch pipe the four inch pvc pipe the pressure ones just to make sure that everything works well for them and then we are going to drill them we are using the drill machine to perforate the holes at the base we are doing it about four feet because we are using six feet length pipe for the leche and drain flow system we are going to leave two feet between the digester bed the digester itself and the place that we are going to drill for the wastewater just to pass through. So that's exactly what we are doing at this estate. And I'm thinking that it's best I do a video just to show you. You can also do a drill flow system for your biodegradable waste biodigester. So we did the markings and then they gave us the depth for which they want the biodigester. They just wanted to show just a small part. The top slab is what it's going to show and it's going to flash to the surface of the other slabs that they are doing, concrete works that they are going to do on the ground and we have dug the digesters we dug them we got the level that we needed and we used the precast slabs we tied them neatly we, we sealed the ends with mortar and then we did the screening with a slope leading to the leche pipe a very sharp one because we don't want any water to be retained in the digester and then we put the slabs in them that's the porous slabs making sure that the water is filtered to the base of the digester and then it goes all the way to the drain flow system that we have also done for this particular project. We did a few of them using the drain flow system, but we also decided that we want to add a small soak away to it just to give us an added guarantee to make sure that it works well. Don't forget about also putting a vent cap at the end of the four inch leche pipe so that any debris or any chippings might not enter and block the way for the water to seep out. But we are less concerned about the effective use of, of these digesters in this particular situation is the fact that there's going to be less wastewater, there's going to be less water coming through the digesters and it's something that we think that the drain flow system can manage. This is a channel dedicated to the construction of biodigesters and those who are interested in how biodigesters work, this is what you need to be watching. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe and be part of a growing community of biodigester lovers right here in Ghana. The next video that's showing on the channel will explain to you exactly how biodigesters work and how you can use it as an option in managing your human waste.